Cancer, this is all about you. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Cancers, if you're just arriving, please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload all this content. Cancer, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign or wherever Cancer influences or affects your natal chart. These energies will stand for the next seven days out. So over here, we're going to start with an oracle card reading. We're going to do a full oracle card spread. Let's get into your full oracle card spread, Cancerians. Cancerians for this week ahead for the next seven days. Also, there's a link in the description box for an extended video with a full tarot card reading and a romance reading. That's for you, Cancerians. That's in the box. That's in the description box below. Let's see what energy is crowning your reading this week. This is really interesting. Sectioned. <laughs> sectioned energy. Energy for Cancerians for this coming week. Cancer Sun Moon Rising. Energy for Cancerians. Cancerians for this coming week. Let's see what your crowning energy is, Cancerian. Crowning energy is all upside down. Oh, Cancer, this is going to be a tough week for you. I'm just saying, I'm like I'm talking to myself, right? Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Jupiter. And where is Jupiter now? Jupiter is in Capricorn, which means it's uber, uber, uber. You better prove yourself to me and you better earn this. And sensitive Cancerians that like to just feel the energy and feel that natural connection, this is a really tough time. This is a really tough time. Slow and steady wins the race. You're in a hurry. You want to rush. You don't want to take your time and you don't want to pace yourself. This is, it's almost this energy of, but I've been waiting for it for so long. I'm so sick of waiting. I don't want to wait for it for any longer. And you're trying to rush things. And the problem is this isn't just a feeling. This is an energy of trying to rush things or trying to push is push things too fast, like make things go too quickly or putting too much emotion or too much energy into something to the point where you might just break it. Be peace. No, it's all unbalanced. This is a sense of being reactionary. Um, this is a mentality of, of being afraid and being worried and making your decisions based on impulsivity and sp um, not spontaneity of, of imbalance, of fear, of worry, of concern, and almost desperation. And then freedom is yours. You're trapped. You're stuck. You feel trapped and you feel stuck. And so you're rushing things and making impulsive decisions that sort of unstabilize or destabilize your life. And this is the crowning energy. This is the crowning energy for this reading, Cancerians. Then we move on to dream the world into being. But this is almost like something coming up from the past. Something uh, like all the buried skeletons coming up. This is like my zombies are, zombies are alive card. Something from the past is coming back to haunt you and you're getting stuck with it or caught in it. And it's almost like, wait a second, stop. I buried that. Why is it still alive? And it, it's almost unfair. I've got this, I got to, and maybe it's just because I'm Cancerian. There's a strain of this feeling of this is really unfair. Why is this coming to me again? I think the best thing we can do in this situation, my fellow Cancerians, my lovely moon babies, is to not ask that question because it's not about right or wrong or fair. It's about what we have to do and what we have to get done in order to keep moving forward. That's all this is. And there is a sense of something that hasn't happened to you in a very long time. It happens to you. For example, I got a speeding ticket today. I haven't gotten a speeding ticket in years. It's like that. It's like it's like something is haunting you from your past. Like there was a time in my life, for example, where I got speeding tickets all the time, and I was in and out of driver retraining program. I even lost my license at one point because I had so many infractions, speeding tickets, not anything DUI. I don't drink, so uh, nothing like that. But there was, there was a time when I had to put that behind me, right? And I did. And today it was almost like a resurgence of it. It's like, oh my God, there's almost this concern and this worry of, am I falling backwards? Am I going backwards? Am I repeating this past? What is going on? And, and why, why is this coming up again? I feel like if you just think to yourself, the past is in the past and it is gone. And all of these bones aren't the bones that I've buried. They're just the bones that have... They're not, they're not, the, they're not the, um, 
They're not the things that I buried. They're not, they're not the things in the past that are coming up to haunt me. They're just similar challenges that I have to get through in the future. The wonderful news about it is, Cancerian, you have learned your lesson. And you do have the knowledge and the energy and the strength to be able to get yourself through it. You know how to handle this now, right? It's, you're not a novice here. And you, you, can, you can do this. You can handle this energy. You can handle this circumstance, this situation. Um, watch your words. Ooh, there's going to be an energy. There's going to be you wanting to pop off. And I almost feel like there has been this like subverted threat that's been happening for a long time and you wanting to pop off. This is also the energy. And I, whose energy was this? I feel like it was Taurus's energy, but I'm not sure. But this energy of watch your words this week, because what you say you will manifest. We are such powerful manifestors. I have said this to you guys before. We can think about something and it will manifest without us knowing in one way or another. That's how incredible we are when it comes to the manifestation game. It's almost like we don't know what we're doing it when we're doing it. So be very, very careful about what you speak and please don't be tempted. Like in other words, in other words, for example with me, did I pop off at that cop? when I was put back into the situation that I was really pissed about when I didn't want to be in and I thought was extremely unfair, did I pop off at the cop and say, what the f are you doing? I wasn't speeding that much. Get off my back. Did I say that? No, no, no. Why? Because of what I said. Because I have learned from the past. Because I have been through this before. Impulsivity wasn't going to get me anywhere. It was just, yes, officer, how can I help you? What do you need? Here you go, officer, handed him in. And he actually cut me a few breaks. He made it, you know, 10 miles an hour below. He wrote down 10 miles an hour below what I was doing. He didn't check me off for being in a school zone, which I was. You know, there were all of these things that could have been a lot worse. And he sort of took that off. Why? Because I was cooperative. And you know what? My son's like, fight it. Fight the traffic ticket. And I'm like, why? I did it. I did it. I'm going to pay for it and it's going to be over with. And I'm going to leave it in my past and just let it and go like that. In other words, you take what you've learned from the past. This, these aren't the skeletons you buried coming off like zombies trying to come and hurt, uh, hunt you down. This is another zombie. You know, this is, this is something similar to what happened to you in the past, but it's not. You are. And I feel like that's the, the, what's really haunting you is you feel like you'll never be free of this past somehow. It's like, like you'll never shed this. You already have. It's in the past. And the reason why you'll be able to deal with this future so well is because, or what's in front of you right now, is because you've gotten through this before. You can do this. Why am I saying this? Because you can overcome any obstacle. This is an energy. So watch your words. And, and also, you know what? If you have to stick up for yourself, stick up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it, be very careful with your words. It's not just like shut your mouth and don't say anything. It's Use your words wisely. You can overcome any obstacle. You, this is change. You are going to get through this. You are, you are not going to be stuck this time. This is a very positive, protective energy. It's a Taurus energy. It's a loving energy. It's an energy of you got this. You got the resources and you're going to get through this and you have what it takes to move forward. You're not going to be stuck. You feel like you're stuck. This is the crowning energy as in it's the, it's the feeling of the reading all throughout this week. You're going to feel like you're in quicksand and like you're stuck and like, oh my God, I, I can't get through this. I'm always haunted by this. It's always going to, it's not, it's absolutely not, but you are at risk for making impulsive decisions. If you stay in this mindset, because really you can overcome any obstacle. And what I say, master manifestation, magic works through you. You know, I'm, I'm studying astrology, right? I'm, start, I'm studying tropical astrology, which is the zodiac that most people are familiar with. It's, it's not Vedic astrology. It's tropical. It's the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the, the normal wheel that we we're, I talk about all the time and most astrologers talk about, generally speaking. And I'm reading this book that's part of my studies. And I learned that the Egyptian symbol for Cancer was not a crab. It was a dung beetle. It was this, it was the scarab, no, it's not dung beetle, the scarab beetle. So it wasn't about the crab energy. It wasn't a crab. It was, it's really an interesting translation because the scarab beetle 
is very magical and very powerful and extremely sacred. It can even like almost transcend death. It has a lot of power and a lot of energy and it can curse you or it can bless you. So this is an energy of Cancerians. You will make your dreams come true. Your dreams, you, you have the energy. You have got to wield it wisely because whether you know it or not, you have the energy and you're actively doing it all the time. And your words, be, your thoughts become words and your words become realities and know it. And then you can direct the energy. You can overcome any obstacle. I feel like there's going to be blessings sent to you. And it's almost going to be like, um, I just saw that scene from Harry Potter three. Uh, I had said this in a personal reading. It's almost like the blessings. It's almost like you feel like you're going to get blessed or saved. Like somebody's going to come through and this magic is going to come through and save the day for you. But you know what the truth is? It's actually you saving yourself. It's this, it's a scene from Harry Potter three. Remember when he was, um, <clears throat> he went back in time. Well, he had seen the, it's this first time that he ever saw the, um, the stag Patronus. Um, when he was, when somebody did come and save him and Sirius, when all the Dementors were attacking and he thought Sirius was going to die and he looked across and he thought it was his father. And then he realized it wasn't his father. It was him. It was him, his future self coming back to save him. Oh, that's so fucking powerful. This is your future self coming back to save you. This is what you have learned coming back to help you get through this Thing from the past that seems to be coming up and haunting you it's not going to haunt you you have the strength and the magic to be able to overcome it oh that's powerful trust the great mystery cancerians you have to let go just trust no this is i got five 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 right in a row jesus look at this this is big changes happening big changes but magical ones this is um Four, five, fifty, and then five, two. So five, five, two, and then you have four, zero, and okay, change, change, but miraculous change and change that you created and that you caused. So this is for better or worse, right? Trust, trust people, believe in them, know that they have your back, and take the deep dive, jump into the deep end, just trust, trust that. The world has got you, that things are not as bad as they seem, that you are protected and you are guarded and that you are loved and that you are not in this alone. You are not, you are not, you are not. I'm telling you, Cancerians, this is a huge part of today's reading. This is taking a deep plunge, getting in touch with your real emotions, real fears, being honest with them. You know, diving in deep so that you can accept them, so that you can bring them to the surface you controlling how you bring them to the surface so they don't explode out of you. This is a controlled air, a controlled breath. You're plunging in. You still need air. You can't live down there. And this is 65 too. You can't live down there. This is a change of how you deal with your emotions. That's what this is. Okay, Cancerians, be playful. Give with gratitude. Okay. Um... Don't take things so seriously. I think that there is a sense of you feeling trapped and feeling stuck because you're taking things too seriously. You're, you're, you're giving too much into these thoughts. You're, you're, you're putting too much energy into um, these worries and these concerns. You need to lighten up a bit. You do. You need to lighten up. Transformation is beautiful. Change is upon you. Whether you like it or not, it's coming. It's just dawning. It, you're, you're, it's almost like act as if and embrace the in-between. Um, you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. That's all I can say to you. That's the grounding energy is transformation is beautiful. Act as if and embrace the in-between. You are where you're supposed to be. You want to rush it. And rushing it may feel like, may, may cause unbalance, may be causing your problems. Like the message for my speeding ticket, slow down, Michelle, slow down. Stop and slow the down because you're going to get where you need to go. 
and everything is going to be okay. It is. It's almost like the God stepping in and saying, slow down, Cancerian, chill out. Things are going at the pace we need them to go. So if you need to fake it till you make it right now, calm yourself down because what you have to become familiar, like um, comfortable with right now, this week, the next seven days, is the in-between, is not knowing and being uncertain and marrying yourself to those tasks, committing yourself to those tasks that give you joy and give you pleasure and help take your mind off the worry because you are not stuck in the in-between. It's just taking longer than you want it to take. That's not the same thing as being stuck. And you are at risk this week for making some impulsive decisions that will get you into trouble if you decide to push. Please don't push. Dive in deep. Try to understand yourself. Dive. This is also about diving into um, sort of... Um, uh, it's like dive in deep and then give with grace and gratitude and be playful. This is almost like you're going to get a deeper commitment out of something by sharing your emotions and sharing how you feel. It's like an unexpected depth is going to open up to you because you were honest about how you felt and it's actually going to relieve a lot of stress. This isn't about faking being playful. This is about being able to finally be playful after some stress has been relieved, be relieved because <clears throat> whoever you spoke to or whoever you divulged you know, what you were feeling to is actually going to be very, very giving and helpful to you and lighten your load. Yeah, I see that in the cards. You know what? Let me turn the camera around so I can review them with you. Hold on. Okay. Well, I've gotten a lot of big spreads this week and that's fine. That's really fine. See, this crowning energy is the worried energy. It's the paranoid energy. It's unbalanced. But this is just a feeling. This is just your worry. This is you feeling like you have to push because you don't want to be stuck. You feel stuck and you're going to push and overload things and unbalance things. And this is the grounding energy of it is of slow down. Please, please, please change your perspective on where you are because right now it's exactly where you need to be. Things are coming into being. They are slowly but surely being revealed. The test for you right now is how do you, see this is imbalance. These are both Libra energies. This is imbalance and this is regaining your balance, okay? This is being all paranoid and worried and being all tumultuous and, and not being relaxed and being worried and, 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 and being unbalanced. And this is being grounded, be, being very balanced, like learning how to be balanced with what you have because flamingos are a totem that balances on one leg. So being very economic with what you have and, and learning how to use what you have right now as if you have everything you've ever wanted and almost maybe employing your sort of imagination, you know, to this whole next seven days of, but look, everything is okay and I have everything I want. And to not focus on what's worrying you or making you paranoid just so that you don't push things or do things that are impulsive. Because if you do things that are impulsive, you will get in trouble. I can tell you that right now because you're a master manifester. This is, this is things will come up to get you. They'll come after you. You will be able to overcome them though. Look at the central card. It's just, it's you. The scarab beetle, like I said, the ancient Egyptian symbol for the sign of cancer was the, the scarab beetle. It wasn't the crab. Now, a lot of the zodiac signs, I feel like nine of them stayed the same. You know, like Scorpio was still a scorpion. Uh, Aquarius was still the man bearing water. It, you know, like thing, most of them were very similar. But this one changed. This was a, whole, a totally different animal. And if I could choose and really, really represent Cancerians the way that I wanted to, the scarab beetle would be it. Because like I said, it's a very hot and cold, but very magical and powerful totem. It is pure energy and it can be used for life or death. It's also the transcendence between life and death. There's this energy of, um, I can give something life or I can take it away. This, yeah, it's not life and death itself. It's the giving and taking. It's just that 
it's that powerful. And this is you at the heart of your reading is just listen, listen to yourself. You can, oh, you're tough. You can overcome anything. And you know what you really have to overcome your, this week? Yourself. You're going to be your biggest challenge this week because I guarantee you things are not as bad as they seem. You can and will get over this. Tomorrow is another day. It, it will, you will be able to get over this, but can you get over yourself? Okay. Let, isn't that the hardest part? Always. I'm going to do a full tarot spread, pulling on the energies from this, but extending these energies. If you want to come join me, the link is below. And I'm also going to do your extended reading over there. I'll see you guys.